Aloha and welcome. This short video is designed to help you identify the more common butterfly fish you might see while snorkeling in Hawaii. There's nothing that I know of that helps make snorkeling more exciting than to actually identify the reef fish you're seeing rather than just all those pretty colorful fish. All the video in this presentation was shot from the surface of the water while snorkeling as opposed to being underwater with scuba gear. The plus for this is that you will learn to identify the fish from a snorkeler's viewpoint looking downward in the water. Let's get started with some of the colorful and beautiful butterfly fish you might see. The four spot butterfly fish is one of the funnest and easy to identify because it has two large white spots on either side of its back, thus two plus two, four, four spot butterfly fish. It's found all over the South Pacific. In fact, if you see a goodly number of these fish on a reef, it's a great indication that the reef is in good health. The long-nosed butterfly fish has come to symbolize the exotic beauty of life on the coral reef. Their long probing snouts, bristling dorsal spines, and striking yellow color draw your attention immediately. Actually, in Hawaii, there are two slightly different long-nosed butterfly fish. The common butterfly fish, which comprises all of my video, and the rare or big long-nosed butterfly fish. It takes close inspection to tell the difference between the two, which is very difficult to do when snorkeling at the surface of the water. One interesting fact is that the long-nosed butterfly fish is actually the most widespread butterfly fish around the world. Among the beautiful butterfly fish you will see on the reef is the ornate butterfly fish. The body of the ornate is cream colored with six graceful orange diagonal lines ascending from the front to the rear of its body. Its face has beautiful black bars and there is a small black line around the rim of its body if you look closely in good light. Ornates are strongly paired and establish a territory on the reef which they vigorously defend against other ornate butterfly fish. Then they roam freely around their territory feeding on the polyps of most coral species found there. It's actually quite uncommon to spot this exquisitely beautiful and colorful butterfly fish. The oval butterfly fish, named for its nearly perfect oval shape, is almost always seen with its mate in pairs. This richly colored fish is apricot gold with pale purple gray horizontal lines with tinges of burnt orange on the anal fins. Like most butterfly fish, it has a black eye stripe and black marking at its tail. Ovals prefer the more rich, coral, and quiet areas of the reef, staying away from rough water on the unprotected reefs. This beautiful butterfly fish, the threadfin, is common to most Hawaiian reefs, but they are not abundantly found. In other words, most Hawaiian reefs have threadfin butterfly fish, but just not very many. Thus, they are a little more difficult to find since they are few in number. The threadfin has a whitish body that darkens to a beautiful yellow gold at the rear. Its primary markings are the black diagonal lines which meet at right angles with almost a chevron look. The threadfin's name comes from the long, slender fin which is actually an elongated dorsal spine. Another butterfly fish, the saddleback butterfly, also has a similar streaming dorsal fin, much like the thread fin. 
It is easy to see where this butterfly fish got its name. Its face with black mask and white curved bar above its eyes is much like the highly recognizable raccoon that is found in all U.S. states except Alaska. The raccoon, like several other butterfly fish, has a black marking at or near its tail. This is thought to be a false eye, which is highly confusing to predators. This may explain why there are very few butterfly fish with false eyes found in the stomach of predator fish. Some authors writing about the raccoon butterfly fish suggest that they are nocturnal, like the raccoon mammal, but there really is very little evidence to support that theory. Raccoon butterfly fish can be found in large schools, but also can be seen singly or in pairs. The millet seed butterfly fish is Hawaii's most abundant butterfly fish. You cannot snorkel long without encountering these brightly colored fish. Vivid lemon yellow body marked by rows of vertical black dots on its side identify this fish right away. Early French visitors to the Hawaiian Islands named this fish because the black dots on its side looked to them like millet seeds. They are curious and easily approach divers and snorkelers, often schooling around them. Where many butterfly fish swim in pairs, the millet seed is mostly seen in schools of various sizes, sometimes even hundreds. One of the more common sightings while snorkeling on Hawaiian reefs is the smaller pebbled, or also known as the multi-band butterfly fish. Unlike many of the butterfly fish, the pebbled only reaches about four inches in length. The multi-band butterfly fish is whitish tan in color with many brown dots that coalesce into five or six brownish vertical bands. Thus, it gets its name as pebbled or multi-band butterfly fish. Almost always found in pairs, pebbles have an established area on the reef and will vigorously defend that territory when needed. But fights are rare as territories are normally both known and respected by other multi-band butterfly fish. The blue striped butterfly fish is a gorgeous fish to see. Eight narrow blue horizontal stripes and then a very large black rear tail marking. It's also more unique in that it has no eye stripe camouflage like most other butterfly fish. The blue striped butterfly fish is found only in Hawaii. Most endemic fish found in Hawaii usually have a sister species elsewhere in the Pacific, but in the case of the blue stripe, you have to go all the way to Africa's east coast to find its only probable relative. Remember, the blue stripe has no eye strike camouflage at all. Look for this feature when trying to identify it. The eight blue horizontal stripes in certain light conditions will appear almost iridescent. Every time I see a pair of saddleback butterfly fish, I get both excited and odd with their striking beauty. Strongly paired, they're almost always sighted in twos. It's quite easy to identify the saddleback from all the other fish because of the large black marking which looks like a saddle, thus their name. Yes, yes. In addition to the black saddle marking, which is trimmed in white, they are generally gray in color with beautiful reddish trailing edges and striking yellow colored lips and chin. These fish are on the more rare side to see, but if you go out quite a bit, your chances of seeing a pair in Hawaii are decent. But don't count on seeing a cowboy rider on their back. One of the easiest fish to identify on a Hawaiian reef is this beautiful fish. 
It's called the teardrop butterfly fish. The upside down teardrop on its side is a quick giveaway to its name. Its scientific Latin name actually means one spot. The name one spot has more meaning when you see a larger teardrop and notice that the downward pointing line fades, leaving one large black spot. Unlike many butterfly fish, the teardrop does not have a permanent mate, nor does it defend a feeding territory. Thus, they are often seen in small schools. This is the black lip butterfly fish. Sometimes it's called the blue head butterfly fish since the black strip that goes through its eye turned blue on its forehead. We had a difficult time ever finding this fish and finally identified it on Ulua Beach in Wailea, Maui. As we look back, we think we probably did see it before that time, but in our inexperience, mistook it as a millet seed. As you can see, the two fish do look similar, but the millet seed on the left has a black dot at the beginning of his tail, and the dots on his side are vertical, whereas the black lip on the right has no black dot at the beginning of his tail, and the dots are horizontal. Lastly, the millet seed is much more vibrant in color than the rather pale, black-lipped butterfly fish. If you ever get to see and identify this beautiful fish, count yourself most lucky. The lined butterfly fish is a rare fish to spot. In all our snorkeling in Hawaii, we have only seen this fish maybe four or five times. The most memorable time was on the Big Island at Kaulu'u Beach Park. We ran into a school of lined butterfly fish, maybe 30 or 40 in number. Unfortunately, this was before we had purchased an underwater camera and have no proof. The butterfly is usually, though, found in pairs, and what an exciting find it will be. This fish is found all over the world in coral reefs and is one of the largest butterfly fish. In fact, it may be that it reaches its largest size in Hawaiian waters, about dinner plate sized, up to 12 inches. When you're new to identifying Hawaiian reef fish, you might mistake the line butterfly with the thread fin butterfly fish. At first glance, they look somewhat similar, but with a little inspection, you can see the difference right away. The pennant butterfly fish is not rare in Hawaii. It's just rare for snorkelers to see because its normal habitat is deep water. In all my years of snorkeling in Hawaii, I've seen this fish just once. And, as you can see by my video, I had grabbed the wrong camera with a defective lens that day, thus the black spots on the video. The pennant butterfly fish has a long pure white fin that's like a waving pennant, and thus the name of the fish. The pennant's white with two beautiful black vertical bars and yellow dorsal and tail fins. When first learning the Hawaiian reef fish, one could mistake the pennant butterfly with a Moorish idol. The two fish are not related in any way, but do have similar coloring, shape, and markings, both sporting a long pennant-like dorsal fin. You can see that at a distance it could be confusing between these two fish until you're more experienced. Just know this, when you're snorkeling in Hawaii, it's almost always going to be a Moorish idol. I filmed this pennant butterfly fish at Black Rock on Maui in 2015. The outer reef of Black Rock drops off steeply and apparently this pennant butterfly fish had come up from the deep just to give me a thrill. Having only seen pennants in an aquarium, I was really excited that day to see one in the wild. 
Okay, before we conclude this video, let's try a little recognition test. Let's see how well you do at identifying some of these fish. I just wanted to thank you all for watching and hope you enjoy your time snorkeling in Hawaii. Maybe we'll run into each other on the beach. But until then, much aloha.